Hello friends, my name is Mrs. Barr and I have created this Google Classroom tutorial in order to help you, number one, be able to get to Google Classroom, number two, sign into the Google Classroom that you need to sign into, and number three, navigate and know the basics of how to get around Google Classroom. So without further ado, let's get started. First and foremost, you're going to need to access Google Classroom. There are several ways that you can accomplish this, but the easiest way to do it if you're on a Chromebook, if you're on a laptop, or you're on a desktop computer, is you're going to need to open up a new tab in the Chrome browser. Then you're going to click on the waffle in the top right corner. The waffle, I call it the waffle because I don't know what else to call it. I have no idea what the technical name for it is, but I just call it a waffle. It looks like a waffle to me. It's the nine dots that are up in the top right hand corner. You're going to click on that. And then after you click on that, a drop down menu is going to come down with a bunch of different icons on it. And you're going to be able to select the Google Classroom icon from that list. You can also, if you're working on a tablet or you're working on a smartphone, you can download the Google Classroom app um, from the App Store. And that is available with the iPhone and with a um, Android device. And all of the rest of the directions are going to be exactly the same from here on out, whether you're on the app on um, a tablet or a smartphone or whether you're working on a Chromebook or you are working on um, a laptop or a desktop computer. After you click on the Google Classroom and it opens up next to the waffle, you're going to see a plus sign. And that's also at the top right hand corner of the page. You're going to click on that plus sign and it's going to ask you if you want to join a class and you're going to click on join. When you click on join, another box is going to pop up and it's going to say join class. It's going to look just like this box that's here. It says join class, ask your teacher for the class code, then enter it here. So next you're going to type in that class code that the teacher gives you. You're then going to be able to click on join in the bottom right hand corner of that little box and that's how you're going to enter into the Google Classroom which you've been assigned to. When you enter that in and you click on join it's going to pop up and it's going to look like this. It's going to have a banner that says the class name. This one says Mrs. Barr's first grade and underneath that I've put the year for that this classroom is assigned to and it says 2020-2021. This is the home page. This is your home base for everything. This is where you're going to start out from, and this is where you're going to go to um, find different assignments and be able to navigate to all of the other areas that you need. On that home page, directly underneath the banner, you're going to find the stream. This is where your teacher is going to post announcements that you'll need to read upcoming assignments are going to show up there and your teacher may or may not post conversation questions in there that you're going to need to answer. You can return to this stream to this home page at any time by clicking on the stream tab that's at the top of the um, Google Classroom. The classwork tab is where you're going to click to view and complete your assignments that your teacher gives you. When you click on an assignment that's in that page, you're going to be able to read the instructions for that assignment and you're going to be able to see the due date for that assignment. The next tab is the people tab. When you click here, you're going to be able to see the names of your teacher and your classmates. You can also email people whose names appear here by clicking on the little envelope to the right of their name. That's it. That's all you need to know to get started in Google Classroom. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that I've made it easy for you to be able to figure out how to get there and how to navigate through those tabs. And first and foremost, I hope that you feel comfortable with this. And I hope you know that your teacher wants you to succeed. Your teacher wants you to do good. And your teacher is always going to be there to help you do whatever it is that you need to do. Make good choices and have a great day.